Wagwan people, we are back! Master League Reggae Boy Rovers, episode 15, brothers. And it's time to beast and feast. We've got Brentford, and I do believe we've got Hull in this piece today. So let's get it. Brentford have turned up with the same bloody shorts and socks on. Travers makes his debut. Uh, Chambers was on orange. Uh, Luke and Ben both absolutely goosed on red. Corona's on the bench as well. So we've had to rotate the squad a little bit, brothers. But it is what it is. There's a lot of games coming up. So, I mean, after this episode, we're looking at about 18 league games still. So we're looking at about nine episodes, I reckon. Uh, give or take if I sling an extra one in there now and again. But, yeah. Less than 10 episodes, we will be in the Premier League. So let's beast and feast. I might even start slinging in three games in these episodes just to get to the end of the season. Because the Championship is long drawn like the bloody Lord of the Rings. Look at Janssen, my goodness, double chin in the house. But let's get it. Brentford coming to the Wagwan Stadium. So, quick check of the lineups, brothers. Like I said, Chambers is out. Bobex are out, so Travers in goal, Fee goes down even, I mean look at the energy on everybody, Panzo, Reddy, Gaiosa, Castledine and Rice in there, Carlson, Hansen, Brewster and Big Ezzy, so Corona did make the bench but like I said, level wise I needed to get the guys out of the team just for a week, give them a week off at least, we have got Manchester City in two games time, so that could be the next episode, who knows, but we need to make sure that everyone is back beasting and feasting ready for City. Because that will be a real test. Brentford today. Hopefully it should be a no-brainer. It should be an easy one. Right, it's a corner ball, ref. Don't even, don't even try it, ref. That's right. Okay. Castle down left pegging. Let's get this one in swinging. Let's get everyone on the train. Castle down with the whip in. Headed away. So again, Figo recommended that we should sign Curtis. Apparently them brothers used to go to college together back in the day. So Figo wants Curtis joining in the summer. So by all means, brothers, if you've got a, a certain player you want to join. Uh, I mean, to be fair, Figo did recommend Curtis to sort of be a backup for Corona as well. So I think that's a good idea. Um, there will be some other players coming in January. But we can thicken the squad up, as you know. We can have like 11 decent subs on there. Like I say, we'll probably keep... Ah, we'll probably keep Rice, maybe keep Couscous. And uh, keep, obviously, Corona. And maybe get another midfielder in there. We've got some good wingers now. But yeah, there is a few players we can sell. There's a lot of dross on the bench we can sell. So we can get a good five or six, maybe seven players in. Come on, get to him. So any recommendations, let me know. So scrappy start at the moment. Again, we do have a massive lead in the championship. So we don't have to panic too much if we lose the odd game here and there. But we don't want to lose any games. Especially at home. Now, I'm trying to think if we've lost at home. We might have lost Millwall, might have beaten us at our place. But if not, we may have been unbeaten at home. Oh my goodness, Harlan trying to... I keep calling him Harlan, he's damn handsome. Sorry, brother. <laughs> kind of wishful thinking, thinking it's that brother that plays for uh, Salzburg. Oh my goodness. Can't get no flow going. Missing three of the subscribers in midfield. Three goes underneath it. Ooh. Ollie Watkins, danger man. Yeah, no Chambers in goal, no Wolbeck Brothers, no Corona. The flow is not going too well so far. Defensively, we should be sound, though. Should be okay, as long as the Brothers' stamina can hold up. Gaios are making them strides. Big as he's making that run inside. Gaios has found him. Nice little move in. Brewster's in. Raheem Brewster, that's what we paid the money for, Brothers. Rian Brewster. Easy pickings for the young man. First goal for Reggae Boy Rovers, and that's what I'm talking about. Freaky Friday took about seven games to get going. Brewster, no messing. Big Ezzy with the little flick. Brewster takes a touch. And there we go, near post finish. This kid's unreal. And again, if we keep playing this kid, he'll get into the high 80s easily. So I say it's a young squad we've got, but an exciting squad. And again, plenty of potential. We'll, uh, we'll try to offer all the subscribers new contracts as well at the end of the season. Try and get their minimum fee release clause. What the hell? I didn't even touch him. I'm trying to get the minimum fee release clauses up. What the hell's up with you? Oh my goodness, he kicked me if anything. Bloody Ollie Watkins. So here's Janssen. Go that long punt upfield. With your header, brother. Nicely done. 
Nicely done. Bruce has made that run again. Big Ezzy's turning provider today. Hey, oh, little deflection. <sighs> Normally it's Donaldinho to Ezzy, but good to see Ezzy and the Brewster have got a little bit of a relationship going up there. Again, Brentford trying to pass it around. Not a bad football inside. That's a right ping. My goodness. That brother from the Halifax advert just pinged it 50 yards. Win your head already. Whew. Travers again, give him a call. Travers as well, only 21. Oh my goodness, nutmeg in there though. Managed to get it away. Here's Carlson. So again, he's a good young keeper. So as Laurie's Ben Foster will probably retire at the end of the season. We'll get him in our youth academy. Come on, win it. Nice, you done ready. Oh my goodness, Figus is out of position. So much space. Rice just goes through him. Oh my goodness. Rice with an old school Roy Keane tackle. <laughs> Took his teeth, everything. Come on, Brewster. Get a touch. Oh, just a bit of pace eluded him. But Rice was having none of it. He stepped out and <laughs> just took the guy's name. Here's Hansen. Ah, nothing from distance. Everyone's marked up, so why not try it, Hansen? Why not? If he goes out of position, a bit tired as well. I think we'll have to win Galloway later on. Oh, and again, though. No. That's perfect. Oh, my goodness. Panzo with the pajama tackle. And the referee's having none of it. That was brilliant. Some slide tackles galore today. Taking it back to the old school. We should bring out a slide tackling back into football, really. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's never left, but you can't slide tackle nobody nowadays. All right, so Brentford corner. Still got that 1-0 lead. Again, we'll take a 1-0 all day long, you know this. Don't let any spin move you. Nicely done, ready. That'll do. I guess he knocks it on for himself. Come on, Ez! <laughs> Get there. Dealing with the, like, literally... <laughs> I think his appendix burst or something when he was running then. My brother literally couldn't run two yards. All right, Big Ezzy, come on. So, brothers, as well, we are getting now. I think we're at 780-odd now, maybe more by the time you see this video. I don't know. But we're nearing the 800 mark. Um, checking my minutes viewed as well. Uh, I've nearly had 240,000 as well, which you need to get in a year. So, yeah, looking good. So, obviously, we're about 200 and some subs away from 1,000. That'll be amazing. That's the first target. And then 1,500, 2,000, as you know. But I'm aiming to get 1,000 by the end of January and 240,000 minutes viewed. And then I've done that within a year. That's when I started, brothers. 26th of Jan this year I started. And so, if I can get all that before the end of the first year, my goodness, what a year it's been. And then we'll beast and feast from there. Bruce is in again. Outside the boot. Oh, it's the post. Get there, Brewster. Oh, lucky young man. Right on the stroke of half time. That'd have destroyed Brentford's hopes. At the moment, they're still in it. They've had more possession. They've had a few shots as well. The Wild Ground Stadium applauds the players off. And as you can see, the stadium's getting fuller and fuller. Um, in the next three or four episodes as well, the next couple of weeks, should I say, I'll start designing the new kits for next season. Like I said, it'd be a black, a yellow, and a white kit again. Um, with the sort of yellow and green stripes as we've got today. But we'll mix it up a little bit. I'll change the design a bit as well. Um, we have got Nike, I do believe, this season. We're going to stick with Nike again next season. And then maybe get like a cool Adidas one uh, with the stripes on it. Looking beasting and feasting. Lovely. Norman Carlson. Oh, my goodness. That's perfect for you, Norman. Looking like a bloody bold politician out here. Rice wins it again. Big Ezzy, no mistake from Ezzy. Off the post. <laughs> a mistake from Ezzy. Brentford's goal, living a charmed life. You know, move inside. Brentford trying to play their way out. Like I said, I don't mind a football inside like this. One of a fair few in uh, the championship. But let's be fair, you're not getting it anywhere. Here's Carlson. Absolute dreadful grandma touch then from Carlson. But that's what we pay for with them kind of brothers. I think Figo and Big Ezzy are going to have to make a sub soon. Unless you've done. Referee's played on from that. How dare you? Gaios has clipped his heels. Don't need a replay, Pez. Everyone's got shit to do. Come on, man. So Big Ezzy is red. Like I said, we've got Man City coming up soon. So I want to make sure these brothers are fresh. Thanks, Ezzy, for the assist. Well done. Freaky Friday's on. That's right. Look at his brother. Smiling like hell. Because he knows it's Friday. All right, brothers, what can we do? Still passing it around. Come on, Brewster, close him down. Nicely done. Norman's in there again. 
Lay it off non well done. Rice picks it up. The Reggie Boy Rovers, Mick Hucknell. Brewster inside. Freaky Friday. Across. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Castledine. Weak of foot. And shades of Carlos Alberto for Brazil. If y'all remember that goal in the World Cup. Pele laid it off. Carlos Alberto flying it from right back. Bear in mind Castledine centre midfield. But that was similar to that little knock in. Little ball up. Castledine's making the run. Freaky Friday lays him off. And what a shot that was. And again, like I said, he's weak of foot, but he is buzzing. Castlemine 4X. <laughs> Do you remember them beers back in the day? But Castledine does the job. Look at this. Absolute spoon bending. And it's been coming, to be fair. All right, so we know, we'll rest for Ego. Um, the brother's probably fine now, but let's give Galloway. What's up, Gal? All right, Galloway, a bit of a rest. Uh, Brewster is tired, but let's play him. Um, there's no more. I might even give Reddy a little bit of a rest in a minute, maybe. Um, but I want the subs fresh as a daisy for City. Possibly the next episode. Fig always gets a round of applause. His brother milks his substitutions. Come on, man. <coughs> I know his Jamaican brothers are never in a rush to do anything, but. Come on, brother. We need some subs on. Alright, so 2 0 up at home in the Wagwan Stadium. Like I said. Oh, beautiful. Defensively. We were all there together, so it wasn't too bad. The subs were playing. So I knew defensively we would be good. It was just about if we could score goals. But let's be fair, Castle Nine has stepped up and so has Brewster. And look at the space by Gayoza. Free invitation. Gonna lay it right across. Brewster! Ah, oh, could have taken a touch. Woeful, brother. He's a bit tired now. But let's be fair, I could have taken several touches then. Uh, in fact, yeah, we'll take him off. Bring Jarvis on. Well played, Brewster. Take your round of applause, brother. The Wagwan Stadium stands up. Everyone's wearing them Panzo pink pajamas. What the hell? <laughs> the whole crowd are backing them. The club shop is sold out. Get yours today. $4.99 from JML. Panzo pajamas. Brewster's happy with his full debut. Gets on the score sheet. I mean, he nearly scored off the bench last week, but his full starting debut, he does get his goal. Uh, and again, he could have got two today, to be fair. But I think he's going to be a great addition. Freaky Friday as well. Ah, oh, bit of strength in there. Nicely done. Jarvis. Ah, oh, I can't wait enough. So Jarvis is probably going to be one to go next season. I think we'll stick with Brewster, Freakster, Ezzy and Donny next season. I don't think we'll bring any of the strikers in. Ah, and like I said, unless somebody absolutely worldy retires and comes through the youth academy. But other than that, I think we'll keep them young blood. See what they can do. Win it. Again, like I say, every player does have a minimum fee release clause in this bloody game by the looks of it. So you never know. We may lose a player now and again. Like I said, the aim is to get the uh, subscribers' contracts up as high as we can. We might even offer them a contract sooner than the end of the season. But yeah, I'm talking about a £500 million pound release clause. To be fair, they only sign certain heights anyway, so it's going to be a bit of a nightmare if one of them does go. But hopefully they love the club that much. They're going to be loyal as hell. All right, where could we go? Back out again. Beautiful. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Gaiosa, sort it out. The game's gone scrappy last 10 minutes. You can tell Brentford have given up now. Here's Hansen. Get off him. Again, making a solid start to his regular boy Rovers career. Here's Galloway. Had to be patient for his. Jarvis. 3-0. Beautiful. Get off the net, brother. And Reggie Boy Rovers complete the drought. Look at this. 3-0 winners. Cleaning Galloway's boots for the cross. Why not? Don't kiss the boots, damn. But yeah, look at that. The Bench Brothers come off and do a good job. Galloway is sprinting like mad. Jarvis was behind the ball here. So some kind of weird back move. I mean, look at this. And it arches the head. What a finish. So squad performance today, brothers. To annihilate Brentford. So do you believe a probably a playoff team? Win it. Nicely done, Castledine. Jarvis wants it again, but he's got no pace. He's got no fans. <laughs> he's got nothing. Long ball out from Brentford. <laughs> what on earth is going on at Brentford? Who is that player? Nobody's marking him. Time to turn, Norman. Time to send Gaiosa. And Brentford have just given up. They don't care. Freaky Friday to make it four. Ooh. 
the freak. Still nearly did it again. Where are you going? Where are you going, Hansen? Absolute liberties. In again. Freakster. Jarvis. Simple as. My goodness, Brentford have been annihilated. They've absolutely capitulated in this second half. I think the Freakster's got two assists as well. But easy as you like. Reggie Boy Rovers 4. Brentford nil. The Premier League is looming, brothers. Even with 18 games to go. Surely we can't mess this up. We can't do a Newcastle, surely, from here. Cleared away by Hansen. Norman gets it. Lays it in. Freaks is onside. Just a side rule pass. And nobody's marking Jarvis. What on earth is going on? Brentford started off so well. First half as well. Only 1-0 down. The second half, they've just literally given up. Absolutely given up. All right, he's got to get through him. Castledine tries to slide. Come on, clean sheet. Balls across. Nice clean sheet for Travers as well. Take your time, brother. Take your time. Good stand in for Chambers today. I think Chambers' is first game off in like three years. But there we go. 4 0 winners. What a day. What a day. So we'll press on. We'll check our coupons. We'll check the league. Deserved win. And we'll press on with the press on. So here we go. Swansea won. Fulham won. Um, so it's probably as you are at the top. I do believe it was Fulham, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Forest and Swansea in there. I do believe we've got Hull next. So to be fair, I mean, it is tight down there. You're talking West Brom to Fulham. Well, like eight points between them. So the playoffs and everything are still not decided really. Yeah, I mean, we are flying to be fair, brothers. We've lost three all season, drawn two. Anyway, on to the next game, brothers. And I will see you basically at Hull City. Hull City way at the KCON Stadium. And again, we've got some brothers with the flu. Figo's on red. Panzo was on red as well. My goodness. But Luke and Ben are back in. Chambers is back in as well. Corona's back in. Oh, Donaldinho was on red as well. So we've not seen Donaldinho at all this episode yet. Um, disappointing, really. So Brewster starts again. Uh, the fans have nicknamed Big Ezzy the Net Buster. That's right, Net. <laughs> I had to reread it myself. I was like, okay. <laughs> So yeah, that's what the fans have nicknamed him. So congratulations, Bruce, to the fans have now given you a nickname. And I'll show you that after the game anyway as well. But here's Hull City. See how they're getting on. What the hell's wrong with McDonald's jaw? My goodness. Bowen looks like he's lost. <laughs> Grosky looks like he lost his mum in the supermarket. That kind of face. But here's your regular boy Rovers lineup. Cabea steps in. So does Galloway. Uh, Luke and Ben are back in. Bruce is up top with Big Ezzy. Enemoto is in as well. Because, um, like I said, Manchester City is next in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. My goodness, it's going to be a doozy. All right. Lovely pitch today. Well, it looks a bit frozen, to be honest. Hopefully the ball does with no bounce to it. Hardcore. Nicely done, Brewster. Ah, lost it out, though. Sun is shining. Some of these whole City players look like albinos. My goodness. I'm blinding the hell out of me. Daywalkers. All right. There you go. Get it. Get it. Oh, my goodness. Hull like my bogey team in this game. Any series of Hull on this game, they drive me insane. Oh, my goodness. See what I mean? Chambers with a save. Called into action. Early doors. Bugger off, Hull. Get in there, Luke. Well done. My goodness. Like I said, Hull have got one of the crappiest teams I've ever seen in my life, but they always do a job on me. Look at that Brewster skills. Ah, nearly gets through. It's going to be a physical encounter today. We don't want this few days before the City game. We want an easy game. Ah! Maybe try and get an early goal or something. Oh, Galloway misses out. Cabellas going to come across to Colombian brother. It's whipped in. Luke's back stick. <laughs> first header of the season won by Luke. Long range! Woo Probably isn't the first header, Luke. My bad. <laughs> the first 12 minutes have flown by because Hill are not messing about. Here's Cabellas to Reddy. Out wide to Enemoto. Ball played in. So next time there's a national team call-up, I'll check the national squad and see if any of the brothers made it. Last year's version, he actually used to say who actually made the national team squad. He just keeps telling me that some players have been selected. But we know all your brothers' nationalities, so we'll check all the squads and see if any of you are actually playing for your national teams yet. So obviously we've got Figon Chambers for Jamaica. We've got Reddy, who will be playing for India. Uh, the Bobek brothers playing for Ukraine. Corona is Mexican. Oh, come on. Luke never touched him. Uh, Big Ezzy's American. And Donaldinho is Angolan. 
So we'll check those national teams as well on the national team selection. Should be coming up soon. Um, also, end of this first season is the Euros. So obviously, you European brothers, uh, Luke and Ben. I think that's in it, really, to be honest. Um, you brothers might be playing in the Euro 2020 for Ukraine if you are picked. Ball whipped in. Oh, Luke's gone for the chip. Oh, thought he was going to go back stick then. My goodness. Bobbled up, Luke. Don't worry about it. So 22 to play. Hull have calmed down a little bit now. Like I said, Man City will be in the next episode. But you know what? Hmm. This episode is going pretty quick so far. You know what? If we beat Hull, I'll put the Man City game in this episode. I will not let you guys wait that long. Like I said, plus if I start putting a couple of three match episodes together, even though it's not Super Sundays, we'll get this championship done a lot quicker. Like I said, there is 18 games left. Predicted about nine episodes. Give or take an FA Cup run if we make it to the semis in the final. It's coming out to Corona! Oh my goodness. Referee got taken out after the game. After the game? After the ball. <laughs> after his shot. What the hell am I talking about? Corona got taken out after the game in the car park. So yeah. I'm thinking, brothers, if we win this game, we'll play Man City next. Why not? Come on, Chambers. That's what I'm talking about. Now, hopefully, we beat Man City, but we don't play that well that the Man City then steal all our players for their youth academy and then loan us out for 10 years. Right, in we go. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, come on, Ben. Oh, Ben's nicked it. He's in. Bobek's in. Ben, finish. Oh, my goodness. Left. Pegasus Ben Bobek by all accounts not hitting the Vipers anymore settle down man you can see it in his football he's a lover not a fighter wins the ball though here beautiful powers through gets his angle and look at that ginger wheel spins on that shot my goodness don't mess with the redhead beautiful one the look big as he's tired already what the hell Right, Ezzy, you're going to have to come off early second half, I do believe. Like I said, if we're going to play City today. My goodness, get your ass up. Go in, Rice. Go in, two-footed. Yes. And again, Rice. You know you do it. <laughs> Rice, Rice has got the bad boy trait in this game. What? What are you, what are you blowing your whistle for? What the hell did Corona do? What? I'm a little bit lost here. I did nothing. Corona stood his ground. That's right. Wave your finger, Corona. Literally stood his ground. A little bit of a UFC move in there, but he still stood his ground. Bloody hell. Come out here kicking and fighting everyone. As soon as they get a single kick themselves, they're crying to the ref. Oh, Luke nearly won it there. Pick it up. Oh my goodness, Corona again. Don't get booked, brother. Oh, another one. Rice took his ankle. That one I saw, ref. Fair enough. Mick Hucknell. What were you thinking? Now, this is dangerous. Uh, get somebody on the line. Wall does its job. Shot in again. Luke again. Second header of the season. Somebody then takes him out afterwards. I'm not, honestly, my brothers are getting suplexed and everything like it's a bloody ladder match. Hull are getting nothing. Oh, flipped on. Don't you dare. Fans out. Oh, Chambers again. My God, this keeper's too good. Look at him. Got arms of a gibbon. <laughs> Come on. Like I said, Hull are just absolute spawny gets every time. Nicely done, Rice. That's back in the danger zone, though. They've gone wide again. Blow the halftime whistle, ref. Bloody hell. It's almost Sunday. Don't know spin you with you. Blocked again. That'll do, ready. There we go, 1-0, my goodness. Backs against the wall job. Lethal bizzle. I'm sure that's... <laughs> my goodness. All right, half-time team talk's good. We could try and calm it down. Try and take the sting out of the game a little bit. And if we can get a counter-attack, we will do. Like I said, we're not in to concede goals, us brothers. We are tight as a nuns when it comes defensively. Brewster again! Shot! Big Ezzy! First to the rebound. Let's see the dance. Big man with the airplane moves. And Big as he doesn't miss from there. Looks like Luke's grown a little bit. Look at six foot there, Luke. 
Never mind. Hull nil. Reggae Boy Rovers 2. That's what we needed. Straight after the second half whistle went. Demoralised Hull straight away. What a time to score. Luke inside. Big Ezzy. Back to Brewster. Takes a shot. Big Ezzy's the first to react. Maybe the keeper should have held on to that. But we are dealing with championship players. So Hull nil. Reggae Boy Rovers 2. Big Ezzy's got his goal. We can maybe sub him in a bit. Make sure he's fit for the Man City game. Because more than likely there won't be much time between the games. Come on, Corona, get there. Here's Rice. Rice again. Oh, my Lord, this boy. <laughs> Straight from the school of hard knocks. Big as he's in again. And the big man striding away. Takes another touch. Chips the keeper. Ah! Oh! Can't do it. Wouldn't come off his line, the keeper. Should have just power blasted it, but the angle was tight. Never mind, Big Ez. Right, Hull trying to play out from the back. Every team is now. The bloody rules have changed. Ben again wins it again. This married man is unbelievable now. Inside. Big Ezzy. Shoots. Ooh, keeper snatched out of nowhere. Reaction save from Mannion. All right, we're getting some of the subs warmed up now. Next time he goes out of play, Ezzy going to rest you up. We need you for the City one. Might even do the same with Luke, Ben or Corona maybe. Reddy seems to be okay most games. Nice little spin move, Brewster. Ah, into trouble there though, Ryan. Where's Rice? Where's my shackle? Nicely done. Reddy again steps through. Beautiful defending again this season from Reddy. Beautiful. Brewster's in. Touch. Shot. Oh, what a finish. Ryan Brewster. <laughs> this kid is unreal. I told you, brothers. I said to you. He's a 67 rated beast. Doesn't matter who he's playing for. This kid is unreal. Some players have a natural ability. What a finish. Oh, my God, Jesus. Someone get some holy water from Cathedral. Wipe it on that net because the devil does burst it. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Little touchdown outside of the boot. Beautiful. Ryan Brewster's Reggae Boy Rover's career is off to a flyer. That's it. Give us the championship trophy right now. Freaky Friday, what are you saying? Look at Donny, honestly. Donny's not even... What the hell, Donny? Uh, let's give... Oh, my goodness. Everyone's kind of thinking. Let's give Corona a bit of a rest again. We want one of these brothers in there. Uh, yeah, well then. All right. Come on then, Hanson. So we've got Corona, Big Ezzy, and Luke rested. Hopefully Ben will be okay for the City game. So the Freaky Friday's on. Can he join in with the uh, goal-scoring exploits? But, oh my goodness, Rian Brewster, what a goal that was. Had my neighbours banging on the wall saying, what the hell? Who the what? Who the hell? Ah! Come on, win it. So Hetic makes his first start in a long time. German defensive midfielder. Galloway with the challenge, beautifully done. Nicely done again into Ben. Just going to lay it off Ben. Oh my goodness. Come on, Hetic. Trying to make that run. Can hardly see him again. Another brother with bright blonde hair. It's been over the head of him. Reddy's across, though. Oh, oh. Thought about coming back inside. Changed his mind. Here's Hetic now. Rice. Even Rice is tired. This brother never gets tired, usually. Colombian Cabeas. Hull, it's just damage limitation for Hull now. We are not messing about. Just absolute beast in football. Brewster again. Probably an easier chance, really. Should have finished that one. But even the whole crowd are showing their appreciation for this Reggae Boy Rovers team. What a team they've been. Another brother with bleach blonde hair. What's going on here? No bleach left in Hull. Everyone was going for the E17 look. Here's Hetic. Little switch. Enemoto. Nicely done. Hansen. Inside to Enemoto. Whips it across. Freaky Friday. Oh. That would have completed it. Freaky Friday. Get your shooting boots on, brother. But should have been bread and butter for you. Little lay on from Hetic. Enemoto crossing. Would have been his first assist. And oh, Freaky Friday's unlucky. Ten minutes to go. Can you believe Hull have had six shots? You wouldn't think it. Game, same as Brentford game. First half. 
Absolute challenge, second half. I mean, that goal at 48 minutes just demoralised them, didn't it, really, to be fair. Absolutely killed them off. Beautiful side pass. Freaky Friday. Sees Brewster in again. Brewster. Ah, well defended. It's getting a bit tired. But look, honestly, man, this kid. I've got him on my Liverpool Master League and everything. The runs he makes, everything he does, is unreal. Imagine if you get him into like an 80s or a 90s rated. By far the best young striker on the game. By Big Ezzy and Donny. And a moto! Oh! My goodness! The Japanese brother with the Tokyo freight train volley. Look at this! Ah, always rising to be fair, but he is a right back. Cut him some slack. Alright, six minutes left. Brewster's tired as well. And like I said, I'll, I'll do good on my promise. We've beaten Hull. Which means Man City will be next. We'll be next. We'll be next. All right. Quarterfinals as well. <laughs> I remember the draw was, I mean, the semifinals, I think, was two championship teams if we get through. Um, so, like I said, I think City definitely are the, the hardest team left in the competition. And typically, the Rovers have them. But you know what? We could do a giant killing. Get it back in the mix. That's <laughs> Route 1 school. On, hold him off now. That's nicely done. Ben's in again. First time volley. Ooh, why not, Ben? Why not? We get freaky asking for it in the midfield. <laughs> ben telling me you've missed 15 shots, freaky. Shut your damn mouth. Freaky was calling for it in the middle. You've never been on the scoring sheets like him today. You've got to keep your mouth shut. Nicely done. Inside. Hull making some nice spin moves. There we go. 3-0, Bobek, Ezzy, Brewster. Nice little win across in East Yorkshire, Humberside, whatever you want to call the bad boy nowadays. Great second half performance. Big Ezzy, man of the match. So, we'll check the scores. Fulham lost, Swansea lost. So, we're going to be even further ahead. Forest won, though. So, we had, oh my goodness, my maths are going to go crazy here. So, 7 to 60. Uh, we're 18 points clear brothers my lordy so it's going to come to a point soon where we're going to be lifting the trophy in bloody March or something alright brothers as promised Manchester City versus Reggae Boy Rovers in the FA Cup I will see you at kickoff. here we go Village Road what the hell alright Man City must be having some redevelopments going on at the Etihad but Manchester City Versus Reggie Boy Rovers, brothers. Let's get it. And all the subs are in. I don't care if the subs are on red. They are playing against City. We are back in full effect. Can we get it? Let me show you the lineups. How on earth we didn't get a full introduction? Uh, Man City have Adnan. Okay. Mendy, Stones, Laporte, Jao Cancelo, De Bruyne, Rodri, David Silva, Mares, Aguero, Sane. My goodness. Look at the bench. <laughs> Them seven players alone are worth more than our whole squad. Our team is Chambers, 67 rated. Figo, 67 rated. Uh, Panzo's in there. Red is a 68 now. Gaios is in there. Luke and Ben are both 67s, as long with Corona. Donaldinho and Ezzy both 67s as well. Rice is 66. Why on earth have you still got the captain C? I'll let you off today. Our bench looks like that. So let's get it. Can we knock out the great Manchester City? Ooh, it's going to be a tough one. Well, again, the zippiness and the passing of this lot is going to be crazy. Cool. Oh, Mendy's missed out already, Big Ezzy. Ah, Big Ezzy's in. Oh, bring it back, ref. Send Mendy off. An early red card. Get him off. Come on, Phil Mitchell. Ah, you... look at the Brian, man. Come on, get out of the way, Kevin. Grow a beard. The Reggie Boy Rollers fans are screaming. Mendy should have got a straight red for that. My goodness. Good job, Big Ezzy's got insurance. Right, right, let's just whip it in. Let's see if anyone can work on anything. Big Ezzy, ooh, headed away. Scramble in there. Let's put City under. Can they handle the pressure? <laughs> Probably, but still, oh, we can't even get anywhere near him. Oh my goodness, Sane. <laughs> Sane just move, even turns. Electric speed. Well done by Rice. I mean, oh, Figo, sorry. Nicely done. Rice, put one of them shackles in if you can. Set a precedent. Our very own little Vinnie Jones. Well, in Corona. Big Ez is in. The big man stomping through. Come on, Big Ez. Takes a shot. Oh! Just deafened every one of you. My bad. 
Should have taken more touches maybe. Or maybe even done a sweaty goal. Back to Donny. Oh, big Ezzy. He went for the power. No precision. Right, next one we've got to make sure. I've got to walk it into the net. Early chance against City. I mean, to be fair, any Master League I've done at this high level in the first season with the defaults, you're lucky to make it out of the first round. The fact that we've made it to the quarterfinals is unreal. Ball in. Aguero! Woo! Locked away. Reddy's going to have his hands full today with him. We'll go off with the replay. Come on, man. All right, Mark him, man. Who's following the runner? Ben, switch on. Ball's in. Oh, oh my goodness. Concussion in there, ref. Head injury. Reddy put his body on the line. Ah, giving away daft free kicks. Watch this brother will get booked for that. Oh, come on. That's a £5 fine, Ben. There's more overtime at work now. How on earth is that a yellow? But Mendes is yellow as well. Oh my goodness, Chambers, hold on to it. Woo! My brother's calm as you like. He's saying, hold up. Wait a minute. Figo's got time to burn. Into big Donny. Oh my goodness, Donny. We've not seen much of Donny this episode. Ninja kicks a brother in the nuts, though. Wins it back. I can't believe we had that chance from Big Ezzy. We should have buried that. Well played, Corona. Spin moved. In again from Big Ezzy. Big Ezzy this time. Oh! <laughs> so unlucky, Ezzy. Two chances. Corona with a little move. Ezzy beat Stones to it again. Stones is having a mare with this kid. Two chances already. Ah, oh. and again, once we get into the 70 rated, then we're just going to fly in because the accuracy is going to be crazy. He's shooting Cancelo up front to Mares. Stay with your man. Stay with your man. Corona's coming across. Tackles Kevin De Bruyne again. Here's Big Ezzy. Can't win it. Ah, again, the honours like flies on crap. Nicely done, ready. Saying Aguero, who? Come on, Donny, get there. Oh, my God, they're going to have the long ball. Oh, my Lord. Missed tackle. For some reason, Sane didn't want it. <laughs> Saw Reddy and thought, I'm going back. Luke wins it. Big Ezzy, long punt upfield. Donaldinho takes a touch. He's going to have to lay it across. Ben was coming in. Ben is here. Back across. Donaldinho. Oh, my word. What a goal. Goal, 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 goal. Donaldinho. Manchester City nil. Reggie Boy Rovers won. Can you believe it? What football? And let's be fair, they deserved it. Third time of asking. It goes in. And what football again? Donaldinho takes a touch. They're on to him. Lays it back to Ben. They've not marked Donny. Back in. First time. Boom. And their brother missed two games. But he's back in full effect. What a move from the Rovers. Ball chipped in. Donaldinho, side foot finish. Adnan, no chance. And could we have the biggest upset in English football history coming up? Beautiful. 1-0 up. Like I said, deserved. 30 minutes played. I honestly do believe the other quarter-final is two championship teams. And the way we've been beating the championship, you've got to say we'll probably be favourites for that one if we do go through. But let's not count our chickens before they have hatched. Corona wins it again. Man City have no answer for this desire and that's it you can have all the talent in the world but if you do not have the desire and the teamwork to work together like these brothers do oh come on Donny he was on side there F. you can beat anyone today oh, ok fair enough then I'll, 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 I'll accept that decision <laughs> right, 35 minutes played Figo's dribbled 43 damn metres my goodness that brother's getting sponsored a pound a mile or something win it don't let him spin moving. This is the thing with it. Aguero! Oh my lord, Jesus! <laughs> Shots of that powerful chamber is having to parry everything. And that's it. He just literally has to do one little spin move and he can do his like that. Nicely done. But we're the Rovers. We do not give up like that. Come on, Figo. In again. Beautiful overlapping play. Figo. Oh! Referee corner ball, surely. Don't deny us, Mitchell. Nicely done. Guy also get off it. Luke. Whip it in, brother. 
Nicely done. Big Ezzy. <sighs> Nearly there again. Come on, Figo, win it. Oh, no. He's on his own, though, Aguero. Come on, let's last till half time. We've got Leeds Brothers. Get across, Gaiosa. Sane will spin move. Corona will pick it up, though. And again, the Reggie Boy Rovers. Win possession again. Take your time, pajama man. Oh, Gaiosa risked it. Got one minute of injury time. Corona's tired. They're in now, Aguero. Chambers has come out of his area. Aguero had to go back. Blow the damn whistle, ref. We need a, we need a breather. Well in, Rice. Just clear it. That'll do. And the half-time whistle goes. Manchester City nil. Reggie Boy Rovers won. 9-1 to one for the beginning of the game to win this. Half-time, full-time would have been a crazy, crazy odds. But my goodness. We are holding Guardiola's men. 45 minutes away from the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Can this Rovers team do it? My God, goodness, if we win it, I do believe, even if no, we'll be in the championship technically if we did win it um, at the end of the season, I do believe we'll go straight into the Europa League, which would be unreal for the second season for these Rovers. A little bit of Europe. Balls in. Big Donny! Ah, a bit underneath it. You'd have to get your passports ready, brothers. <coughs> we played in the back of beyond in the middle of Denmark somewhere. Bloody goat on the pitch. Would it be amazing? I was aiming for Europa League, maybe third season or fourth season. I was thinking maybe season one promoted, season two consolidation in the Premier League, season three Europa League spot. So yeah, or European spot anyway. Ah, had to go inside. It's going to be a tough old battle today. Nicely won. Luke trying to send a brother in. Pfft, locked out though by Rodri. Come on, big guys. You keep working. Well done. Every brother's working their socks off. This is our cup final, really. Let's be fair. 18 points clear in the championship. We can cruise along in end games. If need be, get a couple of draws after this even. Rest a few brothers. Actually fair. If we get to the semi finals of the FA Cup, our concentration is going to be solely on that. Nicely done. Oh, ben can't get it through though. Luke's coming across. We've got some players out of position though. Kevin De Bruyne trying to take advantage of that side. But Big Ezzy and Corona battle again. How the hell did that stick? Referee, check De Bruyne's socks. They're made out of Velcro. Damn unfair. Reggie Boy Rovers are battling like crazy. Everyone's pressing. Brothers are tired already. Come across Corona. Gaios has come out of position. Heading back in. Sane, out wide, Mendy on a yellow. Need that brother to do another challenge if we can. Nicely done, Corona again. Get there, brother. He does. Laid it in. Big Ezzy. Donny. Not much movement. Where's Ben? <laughs> Been sick. <laughs> ah, can't win it. Donny doesn't win it again. Ah, chance gone. Corona again. Absolute beast in performance for Corona midfield. Donaldinho kills one. Oh! Inches wide. We'd have had something realistic to hold on to there, but Corona again wins it. Stomps on a man. Lays him in. Donny's got a bit of space. Tries to curl one. Had Adnan scrambling. Oh, damn, but he making his souls. Raheem Sterling's on as well. Oh, my lordy. More bloody pace. Come on, guys. Get goal side. Win it. Win it. Nicely done. Oh my goodness, what a performance. We've seen Donny up top. Ah, uh, not good enough. Ooh, nearly dropped it down in front of him. Win it, Rice. Get in. My goodness, my controller is literally creaking like shit. <laughs> out wide to Luke. Oh my goodness, he sold him an absolute doozy there. Whips it in. Ah, uh, blocked away. Reggie Boy Rover still throwing men forward. What the rass is Figo doing there? You're going to have to win this ready. The biggest head of your career. Nicely done. Oh my goodness. Back to keeps. Oh, little breather. Little breather, Chambers. Oh, don't do that. You have to just get rid. Get rid. Oh my lord, they're closing us down. Ah, you guys are not a touch. We need some subs on. Win it, Panzo. No, Aguero's in. Oh. <laughs> Literally, my ass all nearly fell out then. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought Aguero was just going to sneak in in front of Chambers. 
Come on, Donny. Look, it's a bad, take a bad touch. Come on, we need this ball out of play. We need some subs desperately. Win it, pads out. Beautiful, ready again. Because he was onside. Seizing Luke. Ah, again, not the greatest of balls. Luke can play it back across. Get a corner ball. Well played, Luke. Oh, my lord of Jesus. Three minutes to go, brothers. Oh, let's make some subs. Ah, everyone's dead. Um, Couscous, come on for Rice. Um, Hansen, on for Ben. Drop back in. <laughs> let's put uh, Edamoto on for Gaiosa. Luke, drop back in. Everybody defend like bloody dogs. Okay, uh, Chambers, pick up the captaincy roll. Oh, lordy. Well played, brothers. All right, Enemoto is going to have to take... Is he going to take it? What's his... Come on, brothers. What's his corner like? Oh, bugger it. He can take it. Uh, let's get Couscous on it, actually. Whip it in, Couscous. Whip it in. Big man. Oh, it's gone over everybody. I'm going to have to go defensive. Nicely won. That'll do. Ah, a minute left. How much injury time, ref? Are you going to take the piss or are you going to be good? We've laid it back. Come on, ref. What are you saying? What are you saying, Lino? Two minutes. Win your header. What a header. Enemoto. Beautiful. Keep possession. That's all we need. Possession is king. Nobody can win it here. That's it, surely. We've got a free kick. Yes, get in. Oh, my lordy. <laughs> Bloody sweaty palms. So, Corona's over it. What is John Stone? Look at John Stone trying to hide. You can't hide, brother. Right, Corona. To end it all. Oh, on target. What a good save. But surely that's it. We've done it. We've knocked out the great Manchester City. And the Reggae Boy Rovers are headed to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Beautiful scenes. The dream continues. City are out. Can you believe it? These subscribers. The subscribers and a bunch of journeymen have beaten the great Manchester City. And deserved as well. Can you believe it? Absolutely beautiful scenes. Donaldinho with the man of the match. But every brother deserves it. So let's have a quick look. Uh, Man United are still in there. Damn. They beat Tottenham 4-1. Wolves beat Chelsea. And like I said, I think we play the winners of Fulham and Stoke. So bear in mind, Fulham are third in our league. So it's going to be a tough game. But yeah, Ruggie Boy Rose will play Fulham for a place in the FA Cup final. And Wolves will play Manchester United. Uh, now, the good thing is... Oh, no, I actually won't do I was thinking... If Man United qualify the Champions League, say we play Man United in the final. Say we get to the final, we lose... We might get in Europe still anyway, but I think the place goes to the Premier League team. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. My goodness. Um, so, we've got some scout results there. Oh, Hetic gone. So I've sold, QP, uh, well, I've sold Jarvis to QPR as well. Um, I'll sell Hetic as well, I think. And like I said, the nickname for Ezzy is the Net Buster. Or Burster, sorry. Um, the next episode. My goodness, I'm getting my breath back. The next episode will be Swansea and Fulham. Uh, we will play Fulham. My goodness, in a few weeks' time. So maybe two or three episodes will be the semi-final of the FA Cup. So in the meantime, brothers, I hope you enjoyed this. Smash the rass out that like button. Hit the notification bell as well, brothers. Maybe a video that way. Hit the subscribe button. Peace and love. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.